and fail. Yeah. I want to say this. Chrissy said that there are some unkind people in the chat. Sweetheart, I hope I hope that no one is being mean to you. Um, right. But let me just say this. You, you are you. You look pretty young. OK, I'm not sure if, if that's the case or not, but you made a statement. OK, and one of the statements that you made and you're going to get pushed back from the statement is that um, so y'all don't think that young men should carry condoms. No, they shouldn't. No, no. Uh, just no. like young men shouldn't carry guns uh, often. Now, I'm not saying they shouldn't. But some of these young guys, no, because what's going to happen is you're going to want to use it. Now, if you're responsible enough um, and, and you've got a license, that's fine. Carry a gun. But as far as carrying a condom, what is every young man going to want to do with that condom? He don't want to use it, especially if one of his buddies find out that he got a condom, but you ain't using his condom. What's, what's, what's going on? How old is that condom? Right. We we going to give him some serious uh, uh, pressure, right? Some serious peer pressure. Christy Thomas or any other young lady. Let me just say this to you. You don't want to be the person that the guy is is has gotten marked for this condom. You don't want a man who has to use condom. You want a relationship to where if you're using condom or birth control, it's because you are, you know, um, not trying to have a, a, a pregnancy or what have you. I'm not saying have an abortion. I'm not saying the birth control that causes abortion. I'm not saying that. But if you're using condom while you're married, you're married. But if you should not be out there engaging in marital activities if you're not married. No, we don't want young men out there. Uh, with condoms because you know what's going to happen um, something's going to happen with that condom he may not even put it on and then next thing you know you've got a child by a guy who who, who said well the condom broke or I, I didn't blow it whatever right um, yeah, that's not what you want sweetheart you want to be faithful to God period yes. we don't want to end around because I promise you the guy is going to look at you as an opportunity his condom is an opportunity, mm -hmm. and you are a means to an end. Okay, okay. She says I'm I'm I'm, I'm Christian, forty three and a half, been married for. Okay, uh, I well, want to hear why. Let me put this up here. I, th I think the I think the big the bigger question is this. Um, yeah, condoms may be one thing, but I think about when we're talking about in the the life of a Christian, um, condoms they save you from the consequences, but they don't save you from the spiritual death that comes along with it which is sin yeah you're still sinning yeah. and so yeah they may have a place in society but us as christians we shouldn't be relying on that and say you know what hey you're gonna do it go ahead let's go ahead and make provision for the flesh that's called iniquity it is. all right the bible talks about sin transgression no the bible talks about sin iniquity and transgression Go study those three terms and understand it. Sin is simply missing the mark. Iniquity is when we make provision for the flesh. And in transgression is when we decide to live against the will of God and we really don't care. Man. Amen. That's what that is. When we have decided to live a lifestyle of sin and we say, you know what? It really don't matter. All right. So be careful because sin is not something to be played with. I'm not saying that you're saying to go play with sin, this, that, and the other. But what I'm trying to teach or what I'm trying to convey to those of us who are who are listening and watching, understand that we need to not make provision for the flesh from the jump. Yeah. Uh, okay, there's so, some other comments I want to get to, but yeah, uh, y'all go ahead, if brother. I, if I can add if I can add to that, right? Um the, the whole the whole uh, thing about about the condom, if your heart is to honor God, right? Then your 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 safety, your protection, is self control, not the condom. Mm -hmm. So if you're looking to honor God, right from the jump, there's no need to have a pr protection just in case, because there will be no just in case. It's just self control, and we practice that. Now nobody's perfect, right? Any imperfection, you can't fall back on uh, a plan that you had in place in case you're not perfect. You know that's preemptive. That's that's. You know, I, I thought about this ahead of time, you know, so uh, let's be careful when we use things like when we as Christians start bringing up topics like, you know, well, you know, what's wrong with condoms? Don't you want to be, you know, safe than sorry? Well, my safe than sorry is me practicing self-control and not getting myself in that situation in the first place. Amen. You know, mm -hmm. if I'm practicing safety, that's my safety. Well, if I'm going to practice safety, I'm not going to have the condom because I don't want to feel pressured to, to say, you know, hey, uh, It'll happen just this one time, and I got protection. So we got to be careful as Christians not to, because again, 
We all love to skate responsibility and accountability if we could. Right? Yeah. If you have a condom in your pocket, right? You're not trying to escape responsibility like by accident. You know this is there for a purpose, yes. and that's to escape responsibility and accountability for my actions. As if you know, I may not be consequence and have a baby, but you know, you go in thinking that way. And, and as you said before, you know, that's that's um, yeah. iniquity. Plain yeah, amen, and, and yeah, amen. And listen, you're gonna want to use it, and you're not gonna use it to make a balloon. All right, he he's gonna use it to do. <laughs> All right, he not saying you know yeah, what yeah. this is the balloon. He not mm -hmm. doing that, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but listen, yeah. real, real quick, Marshall, uh, Marshall Queeley, um said, "Can't Jesus turn a woman who is a three hundred four into a virtuous woman? Sure, he can. Yeah, he can always do that, and he does do that. And we saw that in the Word of God. He can do those things. But when we talked about that, we were not talking about the spiritual." We're talking about the practical. All right. Now, understand when it comes to sin, God always forgives. He forgives our sin, but it doesn't keep us away from the consequences that come along with us doing that sin. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he forgave us. But you know what? Being a 304, he may forgive us being a 304, but you know what doesn't happen? The physical ramifications that come with being a 304. Let's be real here. There's some physical ramifications. If a man gets a wife, and then the wife tells him, you know what? I've never been with a man. Never been with a man at all. All right. And then they get down the road and then it's go time. He's going to be able to tell, you know what? You lied to me. <laughs> you lied to me. Didn't they do that in the Bible? But that was in the yeah, Bible. Yeah, you would yeah. know. You would know if somebody has has entered. All right. So come on. Let's not be. So heavenly minded to where we're no earthly good. There were practical reasons why the yeah. Bible says what it says. And we going to know the difference. If you were 304, we're the virtuous or not. We going to know where you've been. Um, we had another comment from uh, uh, my name is says, uh, I'm still wondering if uh, if I have a problem because seems I'm the only one that uh, finds being physically attractive important. No, you miss what we said. We said, we said that earlier. People, I guess some people are saying that no, that is important. That is that's still that's still important. I mean, come on, let's 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 be let's be real Christians and let's let uh, let's not start capping in the comment section. Y'all know good and well, all right. That is high on the menu. That is one of the first things you look at, all right. Because if that's not there, there mm -hmm. has to be some physical attraction. Like I have to be physically attracted to my wife. And she has to be physically attracted to me. If that does not happen from the jump, and then if that doesn't continue to be, then that leaves room for the enemy to creep in. Let's not try to act like we, we're so above reproach to where we cannot make common sense judgments on things. All yeah. right. They can love the Bible all day. Listen, <laughs> they can love the Bible all day and they can read the word. But if you're not attracted to sis, it's a deal breaker. Yeah, they can they can be anointed. Um, they can be filled full of the spirit, you know, quote unquote. It is something but, that even God. Listen, God is the one who tells us how beautiful a person is in the yeah. Bible. And so it is it is important. Uh, it, it's, it's an issue. And uh, now if it's not if, if you are a lady and it's not important to you, but it is to him, well, then then that's going to be an issue. Vice versa for him to her. Um, the things that you again, listen, what's important to you may not be important to him. And you can't tell that person that it shouldn't be important, just like he can't or she can't tell you what shouldn't be important. Time I Valentine said I love her, never seen it coming. I guess she was blind.